Okay, so we are backstage at the Horizon, which is the second biggest stage at one of the hugest electronic music festivals in the UK. Um, how is it being back at Creamfield? It's good. This is actually my third time here, so it's like it feels like amazing to keep being back. That's really loud. Um, it feels really good to be here. I mean, it's like it's my favorite festival. And it's such a privilege. I've done the, the North one three times and the South one once. And it's such a privilege as a DJ to play in this epic festival. Literally, I feel like I feel like just seeing you up there is so cool. Not just the visuals, but like you and everything you stand for. I know that Feel It is such a celebration in London and like to kind of bring that energy here. Like, what is it like for you? And also for people who don't know, talk to me about like the ethos of your nights. Um, well, I always just like to bring the party in a good time and I always say everybody's welcome in my house. So I just like, I think it's an all-inclusive space where everyone's welcome to come and have fun. Doesn't matter who you are, what you do, what you look like, who you love, just come and rave. And that, for me, is what dance music is all about. And also, how do you feel about um, basically being this amazing queer icon on, again, like one of the biggest stages at the festival? I feel like everybody here raving like, to your music and to what you stand for like how does that feel for you um i don't really think about it because it freaks me out <laughs> i guess i guess it's like it was an important thing to have visibility as a queer as a queer artist it's, it's important to be visible so um i'm happy to bring that and there are there are some other great queer artists as well out there i'm not saying i'm anyone but um it's amazing to be on a stage that big at a festival this big um doing my thing uh, and, wow, it is really going off. <laughs> um, I also have to ask you about your new song, Like It Like That. Like, how is it all going for you? And, like, for you as well, what is it like getting releases out into the world? Like, I've been playing your music for a long time. And you were actually the first, I think, to play my music on the radio, I think. Yeah. So um, I'm very excited about everything. To be able to put music out, to be signed to a major label, to be, like, have my songs on the radio and... It feels amazing. Yeah, you're absolutely killing it. Dreamed of, so yeah. Uh, and finally, I'm going to leave with this. We're doing a camp back to back and rave with artists on the lineup. Who would you like to camp with? Who would you want to back to back with? And who would you want to rave with? Okay, I would camp with Joel Corey. He's playing, right? Yeah, because he's really fun. He's my mate. So I'd camp with Joel. I'd go back to back with um, so Patrick Dobbing. And I would rave with, uh, oh, who's like a big raver? Becky Hill. Yeah, yeah. Jodie, I know you've got a busy, uh, well, you've got a busy night ahead, not just some, not like rest of summer. I think I literally have another set somewhere else in like 20 minutes, so. Okay. Well, quickly, what's, uh, where can people next see you? Um, in about, not here again. about 20 minutes over there. <laughs> um, I don't like loads of places to check my social media, I guess, Jodie Hosh. <laughs> Jody, thank you so much. Welcome. Yeah.